Okay, let's start adding a splash of color to our black and white Excel sheet. I'm talking about conditional formatting. Conditional formatting allows you to set a set of conditions and if any cell meets that condition, it'll get a new format. This helps data stand out. This helps you identify the data that you need and it will also help you identify the trends. It's pretty easy and it's quite fun. Let's go do it. So hello and welcome to my black and white Excel sheet. So if you go to the home tab, um, oops, I just closed it there. This is what I'm talking about. Conditional formatting is right here and you can see the different rules that Excel has provided you with. You can do a lot of customization with these rules. You're not limited to them. Before we start uh, uh, setting rules, we have to select the range of data that we want to work on. Okay, so I'm going to select customer ratings over here. That's the range that I want to set a condition for. On conditional formatting, you can see all the different rules. I'm going to go uh, for the first one, highlight cell rules. And you can see that you can have it highlight the, the cells that have a value greater than something or lower than it or between it or equal to it or text that contains something or don't. Or you can go to more rules and define even more uh, conditions, different conditions. But I'm going to stick to the basic one, which is greater than. And so this is basically filling out a form. The style is in case you want to use a different kind, a different kind of condition, but we're not going to go there because we're happy where, with highlighting. And so, like I said, it's just like filling out a form. Format only cells that contain or don't. You can see the list. There are all of the different options you can choose. A cell value or a percent or a text greater than or lower than or equal to a digit. Um, so I'm like going to choose, I don't know, 4.4. Let's see uh, the stores that have a rating better than 4.4. If I click OK, there you go. You see what happened here? It immediately highlights the, the, the cells that have a rating more than 4.4, which means that we can immediately find out of, out of all of this data, which ones are useful for us. Now I can clear the data because I want to show you something else. This is pretty cool. If I choose uh, conditional formatting and, and then greater than, well, first of all, instead of putting a digit here, I can just choose one of the cells. Um, like for instance, I want to see if, let's see, can we find any store that works better than Dortmund? I'm going to press on Dortmund. And in addition, I can change the format of the cell. So it can be yellow or it can be green. Depends on your taste and what these colors mean, of course. And I can, go, I can go beyond that and customize the format. So over here, I can change if it's bold, for instance. And does it have an underline? Sure, why not? And uh, the color, uh, I don't know, blue. Um, I can change the border, like add a border to it. I can add a fill, like uh, let's make it orange. I might have found the worst combination of colors. Let's see. If I press OK here and then OK again, yes, yes, I can confirm to you that I have indeed found the worst combination of color. But now we know that Dresden, way to go Dresden, has a rating better than Dortmund. And I think it might even have, yes, it has the best rating. So you can customize the formats as well, and you can do this for all the other rules too. Now, uh, the top bottom rules works just like highlighting. Uh, you can choose the top 10%, the top 10, above av average, below average. So I'm going to go to data bars, and boy, do I love data bars. Just look at how cool data bars is. So conditional formatting. I'm going to select data bars and over here, you just have to select the color or the, the texture, the gradient. And I like this one the most, I think. So let's click that and voila, you have data bars. It's just like getting an immediate bar chart. The thing about conditional formatting is that it, it transfers knowledge to you, conveys messages and highlights data for you immediately. So you can see here that each cell has a bar which is related to the value in it. Uh, how it works is that the, the, the cell that has the highest value gets a full bar. So over here, it's Munich. With 850,000 euros, it gets a full bar. An empty bar goes to any cell that has a value of zero. But because we don't have any zeros here, we don't have any blank cells either. Now, I'm going to clear the format and show you how cool it is 
when you uh, change the rules on the data bar. So uh, I can add more rules. And so over here, we can set the minimum and the maximum. So I'm gonna set the minimum as the lowest value. It can also be a percent or a formula, but I want the lowest value. So whichever store has the lowest value is gonna get no bars at all. And the maximum, I'm gonna set it as a number and you know what, I'm gonna set it as a million because one, two, three, four, five, six, because there are six zeros in a million. I want to know how far each store is from making a million euros. And of course you can change all of these other things. And once I pr pr press okay, there you go. You have a very nice demonstration that is giving you a lot of information. It's telling you how far each store is from making a million. And it's also showing you that this branch in Hamburg has the lowest value, has, is making the lowest income because it has no bars. Um, now, the, the next condition here is the color scales, but I'm gonna skip to icon sets because they work like each other but icon sets is easier to understand. Now, which one should we work with? How about months in cooperation? We haven't worked with this call until now. I've selected my range. I'm clicking on conditional formatting, uh, icon sets, and I think I'm gonna choose the traffic lights. Red, it gives me red, yellow, and green, and once I click, there you go. What it's doing here is that, is that it's categorizing your data into three groups. The higher group, the one with the the group with the highest values get a green, the ones with the lowest values get a red circle, and the ones in the middle get a yellow. So now I can identify who my most experienced managers are and where they're working. It's this guy over here, and this guy over here, and this guy over here, like this guy is working in Frankfurt. They have the most experience. It makes it so easy to find data. But let's see what happens if I decide uh, to uh, change the formatting. So again, I'm gonna go to uh, icon sets and then more rules. And it's allowing me to decide which values get a green circle, which ones get a yellow circle, and which ones get a red circle. Okay, let's play around with this. Um, I want the type to be a number. If anyone has been working for me for more than 24 months, that's two years, I want them to get a green circle. If they have been working for over 12 months, that means a year. So if they've been working between 12 to 24 months, I want them to get a yellow circle and anything below 12 gets a red circle. If I press okay, the first thing I find out is that I don't have any managers that have worked for me for less than a year. What I'm trying to tell you is how fast messages are being sent to you because of conditional formatting. I'm trying to show you how important it is. Now, um, just so that you won't complain later about color scales, let's try color scales. I've, I've chosen this range. I can go to conditional formatting and choose one of the color scales. And these color scales are supposed to represent how high or low each of these pieces of data are. Let's clear the rules and check out what happens if I uh, use more rules. This is actually quite nice. With color scales, I can choose whether there are two color scales or three color scales. Now, I think three color scales makes more sense. I can choose what color the lowest value gets. For me, it's always red because it's bad news. Uh, but I can also choose, again, a number, a formula, whatever else. And the maximum value, uh, for me, again, it's always green. And yellow is just fine where it is. If I press OK, there you go it's ranked or it's colored actually the values based on what they are. Okay, so this looks really nice, but uh, we don't use conditional formatting just for fun and just to make things look nice, but it's important. But the main goal of conditional formatting is to convey messages, is to make the data, the raw data make sense easier. So these colors and the type that you use have to make sense. Now, my challenge for you is to, after this lesson, go around and play with the rules, play with the various formulas, and I challenge you to find a color combination which is worse than the one I found over here. Let's see if you can do it.